Virgo, how are you guys doing? Welcome to my channel. This is Chelsea. Thank you so much for all of your love and support and for subscribing to my channel. I uploaded a video yesterday predicting what's to come in 2022 for all 12 signs on my new vlog channel to celebrate our 50k subscribers. Link is in the description box below if you are interested and thank you so much for making this happen. I'm forever grateful for each and every one of you. Now Virgo, let's get your reading started. Today we're going to find out what do people secretly think about you. Spirits and angels, please show me what do people secretly think about Virgo? Sorry, fell on the floor. Okay. Let me show me more. Virgo, this is going to actually be somebody close to you, okay, friends, family, or people watching you on social media, all right? Virgo, 10 of Wands is here. Definitely people find you very uh, resilient. Uh, and Virgo, this is not going to be all positive, all right? So if there are any negatives, I'm going to say it, and please don't get mad at me. I'm also Virgo. <laughs> all right, so 10 of Wands is here. Definitely an indication of people thinking that you are somebody who is very resilient, very hardworking, very determined, you know, determined to go, to get to your destination, to uh, reach your goals in life, okay, and somebody who can take a lot, okay, it's like, it's like one man show kind of thing, a lot of you, you can do a lot of things on your own, and you kind of like don't need people, uh, you don't need people, <laughs> period, you just don't need people, like, you can do a lot of things on your own, because Virgo, you are somebody very smart, and also very confident with the chariot here, and cherry here indicates uh, people feeling that you're very confident. Again, you're in charge. You're somebody, you can be a boss or that. If you're not a boss, then you are somebody who is uh, very brave. Also, um, again, I'm sensing very confident. Some of you, uh, maybe they see you also as a moving, moving to a place for some of you only, okay? Could mean relocating as well. The chariot sometimes could indicate that. But overall energy of the chariot is somebody who is, you know, um, making a decision or taking charge. To me, it's a transportation as well. So it's like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to my destination. I'm, I'm going there by hook or by crook and I will get there anyway you know, uh, by any means, <laughs> something like that. But Virgo, um, definitely people sense that also with the seven of wands here, you may be a little bit defensive, okay? You may have your boundaries, you may have your principles, your integrity, and you don't like people crossing it, okay? So you're very protective over yourself, over your heart, or over people whom you care about or love. And you can be a bit territorial, like this is mine, it's mine, no one can take it from me, all right? Two of Swords is right here. Um, also, I feel like this could mean cutting people off, okay? It's like um, you can cut people off. It's almost like for me, I don't know what I'm seeing the Ten of Wands. It's like you're taking these wands and you're building something. Like you're building a shield. Maybe you have your walls up. Maybe you don't trust people uh, generally. Um, and that you may have your walls up and you are easily, you can easily cut people off or go silent or you could give people silent treatment, okay? It's like this is your way of defending yourself or this is your way of cutting somebody off is by keeping silent and not talk to them or very sarcastic. That's the sarcasm energy that I'm sensing here as well. And with the fool here, Virgo, they feel like you are uh, somebody free-spirited. Uh, perhaps somebody who is willing to take chances in life, but calculated chance, uh, calculated risks, not just, you know, any risk because the fool is in the upright position. So not really a fool, like the fool card is actually a good card. It's number zero, it's starting its journey. So you are willing to um, try something new, at least at this point in your life, that you're willing to try something new. For some of you, they may see you as a nomad or digital nomad or somebody who likes to travel, somebody who likes natural environment or there's water here as well. It's very free-spirited, like freedom is very important to you guys as well. The full of whether it can be freedom to express yourself or just feeling free in general. 
and we've got the eight of pentacles here in reverse i feel like virgo this could be what's going on with you in your life right now or in the future people may be seeing you in you know letting go or walking away from a past job or start and starting a new job elsewhere for some of you it may actually be a different location if it's not a different location then it's like a you know a different a new a completely new fresh uh type of work or business can be anything or just life journey in general like you changed your life like you know 360 from before and then to now you're on your transition it looks like people think that you're on your transition to achieving your freedom whether freedom financially or literal physical freedom hmm and we've got the four of cups here uh virgo and they feel like you're not interested in love right now okay not really interested in love right now you may have a lot of offers we've got four cups here you know for some of you literally could be four people uh who may be interested in you it can be how um how, however many but it looks like uh, you know people actually think that you you know you got your arms folded here doesn't matter he or she is not gender specific but you definitely are not interested in love or in whatever options that you have right now when it comes to love and page of swords in reverse so they feel uh, people think that you are on a down low uh kind of you don't trust okay you just don't trust easily because page of swords in reverse can be like a stalkerish energy or spying you know you only stalk or you spy on somebody because you you know you don't trust this person so uh, people do think that you are somebody very smart but also but at the same time you have problems trusting people okay the world is in reverse and we've got the will of fortune here let's see a little bit more yeah virgo this is actually your energy queen of pentacles so you are somebody very stable very loyal you take care of your home front and also you are very abundant uh, financially you are abundant and you are very secure you're also very beautiful very down to earth so you're not the showy show off kind of person unless you have some fire in your chart somewhere which i do a little bit i have sag in my chart somewhere so a little bit of you know unless you have some fire in your chart somewhere maybe you like to flaunt a little bit of you know uh, who you are as a person and a bit more passionate but if you don't have any fire in your chart then i feel like they just think that you are somebody very down to earth humble and you don't like to show off um, your money i feel like um i'm also a virgo right so i feel like i'm 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 also very down to earth and i'm humble in my own ways but at times you know at times i feel like i need to prove something to somebody okay or to people <laughs> some of you may be also like that okay i'm just making an example but the emperor is in reverse so virgo the emperor in reverse mm, okay so as much as people look at you as if that you are sort of in charge again i do sense the emperor if it's in the upright position somebody who can be actually quite bossy or stubborn set in their own ways but with it in reverse as well as the fool here i feel like as earthy as you are as down to earth as you are but you are willing to try new things with the fool here you're willing to take risks you're not that rigid okay you're not that boring there are two sides of you virgo that you can be very down to earth and humble and focus on your money and do your day-to-day -day life kind of thing but at the same time you can also be fun and be open to doing something new okay will of fortune is here a lot of people secretly think that you're somebody very very lucky okay somebody very very lucky maybe right now at this point in time in your life maybe again you're changing you know this is a transformation for me because it's a major kana and you've got quite a number of major kanas here so the world in reverse also could indicate you know a lot of cards here are indicating a change whether in your job 
or change in a loca uh, location or change on your perspective when it comes to life or whatever it is it's like you are changing in order to achieve some sort of a freedom it can be freedom financial freedom or spiritual freedom any sorts of freedom because the world is in reverse uh, it looks like maybe people think you've been stuck you've been doing the same thing over and over again for a long time and it's time to change and they see that happening okay a lot of people also this could mean they are checking up on you they've been stalking and seeing how happy how much happier you are how much focus you are how much more focus you are and how you're making your dreams becoming a reality all right virgo this is your reading i hope you enjoyed it if you did please hit like share and subscribe if you're interested for those who haven't um checked out the video yet prediction for 2022 um, link is in the description box below i'm also going to put it on the screen you guys can click on it and it'll bring you to my vlog my second channel all right take it virgo bye